30 counties in Montana are considered food deserts, as well as one in eight people go to bed without food each night or go to bed hungry. So we have that opportunity to help those people that are not able to have a meal every day by donating the Montana Food Bank. So today we are at Fort Keogh for the Hoofing It for Hunger race. All the entry fees will go to the Montana Food Bank. So far they've raised about $36,000 to donate to the Montana Food Bank over the past seven years. So it's a great opportunity for people to get out, enjoy the nice fall weather here at Fort Keogh, enjoy the beautiful fall changing as well for a great cause at the Montana Food Bank. Fort Keogh also, you know, our, our main mission is to basically find ways to make food more efficient, you know, cheaper. So we're finding ways to make the, the rangelands more productive, to make the cows more productive off those rangelands or off less feed. So, you know, of course our mission is to make more food with less and, you know, it, it again, it, it really fits with the Hoofing It for Hunger. We're supporting agriculture, we're supporting feeding families, particularly here in Montana. So we do have three primary races, and that would be the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon run. The 5K and the 10K, they're pretty typical. Anything's far from typical out here. They're running on dirt and gravel roads. There are some cattle. They do run past the beef barns here at Fort Keogh. There are some of the Line 1 Hereford Bulls in the pasture next to the running course. But those courses are fairly flat. The 10K does get into some rough terrain, but it's, it's a pasture run, trail run. The half marathon, on the other hand, also sees that trail run through the pasture, but then they come back out, they get to run across the Yellowstone on a old Milwaukee Railroad bridge, they get to run way out in the hills where at the halfway point there is a challenging 200 foot climb. On today it's going to be a great view, nice clear sunny day, and then they get to turn around and work their way back to the main headquarters building here. Last night there was a lasagna dinner for the people participating and hoofing it for hunger and they could also bring their families. There was facts about Montana beef. We had the Oskendorfs donate the meal, donate the beef for the lasagnas. Um, we had Custer County, Fallon County help out with serving the food. I think it's a good way so people can actually see the product that we have. I mean, we had local beef last night, so it's a great way for people to taste how good beef is, also provide fuel for their race today. Great opportunity for people to get out, enjoy the nice fall weather in Montana, support a good cause, and enjoy Eastern Montana. We had people come from South Dakota, Wyoming, North Dakota, Idaho, all over, and they're getting to experience Eastern Montana. People come on west side of the state, so they're able to see what Eastern Montana has to offer. Hewlett Fignette for Hunger is a great cause, and we look forward to have you next year. Oh,